So while most questions in the Google Forms are self-grading, there are a few that are long answer text. There's just no way around it. Um, we know that we can't just always present to our students multiple choice questions. And so um, there are some that you'll have to manually grade. Fortunately, it's really simple. It's not a lot of work. Um, so here's an example. This is for um, my fourth grade language review, spiral review. And um, this is an example of where students are going to possibly have slightly different answers. Um, and so what we've done is we've created a long answer text. Now, what it looks like on a student's end will be like this. So they would put their answer um, here and I'll just, uh, I'll put it the correct answer. Okay, so there's um, one possible answer. Of course, you might have students uh, make it a, comp, um, a compound sentence. Um, so you can have variations that are still correct. So making this type of question um, a, self com a completely self-grading uh, type of question would really limit students and mark many correct answers wrong. Now, of course, the rest of the responses in this quiz are um, self-grading. So I'm just actually gonna do these randomly. Let's do, some of these are gonna be incorrect, of course, and then the, uh, we'll click Submit. So what a student sees when they click on View Their Score is for the self-grading one, they're gonna have an ellipsis here, and it just means it hasn't been graded. And then, of course, because I randomly answered all of these incorrect, um, the score is zero out of six. But what you'll do is you're gonna go in after your students take the quiz, and if you don't want them to have their complete score after they've graded it, um, remember you can always check your settings for the forms and edit them. So this is always gonna be checked, make this a quiz. Um, you might not want them to see their answers until you've actually manually corrected or reviewed it, which I'm gonna show you how to do right now. Um, and then the respondents, you, uh, here's what the respondents can and cannot see. So you can always, um, change these settings according to your preferences for your students. Now, this is what it will look like. You can um, go back into the form, and if you go to responses, this is where you'll be able to, uh, to score all of those open-ended or those long answer formats. So if you go to question, and remember, it was question one that was the one we're gonna have to manually score. So what happens is you'll get to see a list of all of your students' response. And then from here, you can mark them as correct. So that one's correct, um, that one is correct. This person didn't, uh, looks like they didn't put anything, so that would be incorrect. This person said, I don't know, so that would be marked as incorrect. And then you just press save, and then all of those uh, questions are scored for your students. So if your student would go back, let's see if we refresh this, um, you can see now they have a point for that question or however many points you wanted to give that question. Um, so that is how you will score any questions that are open-ended or long answer questions that don't have one specific answer.